It's a beautiful evening from the side of the divide. And of course, we are definitely glad to have you join us. Welcome to Road to Edo 2024, reaching you live from ITV, from our business studio. My name is Daniel Price, Ose Debame. Well, the Liberal Party has been uh, on the front line again for a while now again. Well, there's no political party uh, that doesn't have their own differences. But that of the Liberal Party, uh, there seems to be a kind of continuous uh, contention for the soul of the party. Uh, just recently, uh, the uh, NLC had decided to picket most of the offices across the country. Well, we'll be talking on that as we have the state Labour Party chairman. He's in person of Ambassador Comrade Kelly Obwailon. Thank you so much for joining us on the program. It's my pleasure. Thank you so very much. All right, let's just kick start from there. Labour Party seems to be the bride of everyone in Nigeria. After the presidential election, uh, we saw how they had a good outing. But it seems there's a disconnection now as the party has been having different, different negative view. The recent one, the picketing of your offices across the country. How did we get here? Is there a way out? Well, uh, well certainly let me say that, uh, yes, there's a way out. Uh, the PKT, as uh, mentioned, was uh, ill. Uh, was he planned it was not uh, a good decision by the Nigeria mm. Labour Congress uh, because I, I begin to now wonder uh, where exactly do they derive uh, such right in law to picket a uh, Labour Party uh, it still keep me surprised up mm. to this moment but uh, it happened but uh, I think that will never be repeated anymore uh, Labour Party I, I mean uh, NSC I think are currently beginning to think in revision of what they did to know that that was grossly you know outside what the law permits them to do so are we now saying that uh in the coming days we are going to see a halt to all this uh attack from the NLC? should we see it as an attack or were they sponsored or is this just a means to divert the attention of the people from the labor party as a party well from the action they uh, they have allowed them themselves to take in recent time, uh, some of us are, you know, being convinced that I think quite a number of them may have started taking salaries for the, for the opposition party. Mm -hmm. That's our view. They, they, they are getting some payment from there because NSC do not have the right in law to picket Labour Party. You know, would you know what? Picketing itself is a high policy issue of the Nigerian Labour Congress or even the TUC as it were. Therefore, to come to such a decision, it ought to have been the approval of the neck of NSC. But the letter we got was ordinarily signed by some persons who said they were members of the political commission of NSC, hmm. who do not have the right whatsoever to order PKT of any kind. As far as said, uh, Nigerian Labour Congress is concerned. We are also members. We are veterans of Nigerian Labour Congress. So what are they talking about? That you are picketing Labour Party. How does members of APC and PDP go to picket Labour Party? Mm. How can people who play, uh, you know, who play subserviency to this political party to come and picket PDP, uh, picket Labour Party? Labor I need to say. Now the question. So what are we talking about? The question now. now the, let me help who, you. Okay. Who owns Labour Party? The members of the party who owns Labour Party. Actual members. Because the NL actual members, NLC, TUC, they actually say they are part of the formation of the party. From they the, can be part from, of the, from, from the initial. Yeah, stage. they can be part of the formation. That is given to them. But they cannot, they cannot arrogate total ownership of the party to themselves. The party is owned by the financial members of the party. And of course, let's go and check. Hmm. When last did Ajiro pay his monthly dues to Labour Party? Okay. When last did he do that? Mm. Ajay no, himself, the, president of, the, the president of Nigeria Labour mm. Congress. When did he pay that last? So he's not, he's, he's not a financial he's member. He's not a financial party. member. Then Therefore, he cannot a... question the operations of the party. Okay. It's not. Mm. The law is clear. He doesn't, the have, he doesn't, clear. He doesn't have the statutory right to, to, to have an oversight function yeah, of the party. At all. There's Even nothing, an oversight function. There's nothing like oversight function in running of the political parties. There's nothing like over now. It's not National Assembly. But if you have it N is not House well, of uh, Comrade, Comrade Kelly, if you have NLC, TUC, yes. and some other persons come together to form a party, yes. don't you think they are stakeholders? They are. 
That's what I'm saying. Okay. But they do not owe the rights to do what they are doing. They are members like we are. And I have credit to you. Mm. There are quite a number of them. There are no financial members of Labour Party. And that is why I'm emphatic. Let Ajiro produce the last time he paid his dues to this party. Mm. And that is what legitimizes your membership of the party. If you don't pay your dues, you can't claim to own the party. That's the point. Okay, in, in some states, Edo states are inclusive. We, we have NLC members who are of different political parties. And now that is what is actually getting the attention of many Nigerians. If you have state chairman of the party that belong, that are card carry members of other political parties, why have NLC, the Nigerian Labour Congress, picket your office? I, I want to get your question again. Across uh, the states, across the country, yes. some NLC members, they are of different political parties, like their state chairman, for example, for example at those states. We once have, uh, we have somebody who is in the NLC at the top office, but he belongs to the PDP. But however, with this... Uh, picketing of your offices, do you think some uh, negative forces have hands in bringing down the party? That's what I said earlier. If you look at the intense hatred, mm. the intense dislike, the intense uh, you know, criticism mm. that is advanced by these sort of people, you know that they are not members of, of the Labour Party. They are people who ordinarily have been chartered to destroy the Labour Party. Because of the view of the fact that Labour Party today is the political party that had the potential mm -hmm. to change the narrative in Nigeria. And so the opposition parties are not interested in this. They want to keep the life of the people of Nigeria to the ground perpetually. Mm -hmm. And so that is why this one talking today are particularly chattered to destroy the party. And that's why I could tell you that it appears as if some members of Nigeria Labour Congress have begun to take salaries from these persons mm -hmm. because they have more job to do. They are coming to illegally decide to picket Labour Party. So how can you say you are what what is picketing in the first place? And that's why I've told you that it, it is not the it, it can't be the decision of a political commission uh -huh. to order picketing. If you look at the letter they wrote, you see the, the political commission chairman and the secretary uh -huh. signing and ordering the workers of Nigeria to picket the offices of Labour Party. I you, you, you think they don't have that right? They don't have that right. It, it, if Piketty of any kind, not even to Labour Party, Piketty of any kind must be the approval of the neck of NSC but, but or neck of TUC. Uh, Comrade com Kelly, let's take it a little bit further. Part of their concerns has to do with the national chairman, uh, Barrister Julius Sabure. Uh, there are allegations of uh, misappropriation of funds. Uh, there are so many, so many allegations surrounding uh, the integrity of the national chairman. And they are calling for his resignation. Do you think they are out of place too? But now, now let me tell you this. Mm. I, I, I will be reluctant to discuss the national chairman as it were. Why? The reasons are mm. that the appraisers of people and situation may, dif may be different relatively from those who are doing so. Now the national chairman has been taken to court and has taken some to court. And he won. Mm. And as we speak today, there are still other matters in the court, which I and you cannot decide on. So in that case... I'm not going to be party of say, oh, he did this, he did that, until you give a proof. It's not enough to say National Chairman did this, did that. Do you have the proof? You don't have it. So even if 1,000 persons have to say this is what happened, it cannot be right until it is proved so. But there, so is, if you there, say, is, no, there is no smoke without fire. Yes. Uh, their papa function came up, and some of their disconnection was... Uh, there are, they don't understand the leadership of Barista Julius Abre. That actually gave birth to the upper pass faction of the Labour Party. And of course, we've had um, Arabambi on this platform on several occasions. Uh, Kechi Okpara, Oluchi Okpara, the suspended treasurer, came up and she actually came up with some documents. You, you, you know, moving according to her, some of you, these documents you, you, are pointers to some of these allegations. You, what says you? You know, the point I made is that. Mm. It's not going to be my interest to discuss that because I have my own appraisal of the situation as a, diff, as a human being. As a person. Well, as a person. That. And others, that. others have, have their own view of mm. it. And that's why I've mentioned to you that now, I, 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 Papa and others came. But where is the situation today? The matter went to court. And then the man was decided and acquitted. And the court says he's the most competent person to continue to rule the Labour mm. Party as a national chairman, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And whatever was the complaints of a papa and others cannot, cannot log out fully to rest. 
Okay? And then, if you say there are others, mm. we cannot be discussing of those others until they are also proved that is guilty or it's not guilty. So it's not for me and you. So simply say because people say that says and therefore but that he, is but he was arrested he was arrested recently just before the primaries so so then you ask the question why was he arrested because yeah. i was arrested that, along that, with him of course that's what we have you in the studio to, right clear, now, to clear that yes end. right now mm. we were arrested you know about two days to the primary party first of all the idea was that take the two these two persons of course and that would make it impossible for the primaries, in their view, not to hold. And when the primary fails, it means that the party will produce no candidates. And then the whims and caprices of the, uh, of the, of, uh, of the opposition, opposition political party mm. would have been met okay. by that. Then let me tell you, there was a petition to the police that myself and the national chairman at some point in December last year, you know, organized and beat up the SY national uh, youth leader mm. who had been expelled for the party. Upon which we were taken in by the police. So there's nothing like Abure took money to be arrested. There's nothing like Kelly took money to be arrested, mm. as far as that is concerned. So the point I'm making is that I wouldn't want to be dragged into discussing the personality of the national chairman vis a vis these matters we are talking about. Why? I have a different appraiser of him. The other person have a different appraiser. And I cannot question, I will not want to question why are you saying so. Now, my point is. In some cases for which we went to court, mm. the man had been discharged and acquitted. And so if there are others, let us also wait for the court. Then on Oluchi uh, Opala, you know, mm. Oluchi Opala was the national treasurer, treasurer of the party. Of the party. Mm. From Salam's time, the SY national uh, chairman of the party, mm. late now. And Oluchi himself, herself, I mean to say, has not shown any financial statement to the neck or any other body of the party from that time to present time. And so the duties of a, of a national treasurer are specified in the constitution. It takes in money and back them. It's equally a signatory to those accounts. Mm. So if the national chairman is told, at what time did you discover it? When did you receive that money? Who did you report it to internally? Mm. Because when you want to look at those matters, it is the National Executive Council that is the body to be reported to on such matters, not the press. Mm. Okay? So if you are telling us the man stole so much, where were you as the person saddled with the responsibility to be in charge of the funds of the union, of the party, I mean to say? Where were you? Mm. So why are you just coming? to tell us. So my view is that if there were, for instance, the stealing of funds at that level, they must all be accounted for it mm. because Onuchi herself is culpable. To all the national leaders. That's the point. That's what should I should go down for it. Yes. Okay, now should. If there be, for mm. instance, okay. if there be, for instance, no one person can exonerate himself. Mm. Or herself. Now, the presidential candidate of the party, Mr. Peter Obi, actually had a press statement and he actually assured Nigerians that they, there will be an independent body to uh, go through the records of the party. But do you fear of losing Peter Obi uh, from exceeding uh, Labour Party? No, we don't have any fear because Peter Obi come properly to Labour Party and he means to stay with Labour Party. It means to develop Labour Party. Mm. It means to continue to ensure that Labour Party produces what it means to change the lives of Nigerians. And so I have no fear whatsoever. So you think Peter Obi will remain in the party? Permanently. He's not going to leave? Not at all. With all this crisis? Yes. Hitting the party, left, right, center? Yes, yes. So should Barista Abouye <clears throat> give way for peace to reign? We have peace. And I do not should think... Should he step aside? I do not think Barista Abouye is standing on the way of peace of the party. Except that the opposition party wants him out at all costs. Mm. So think, for me... You think, you think this one is coming from the opposition party? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Mm. I'm sure of this. Okay, now, how will all this impact on the party ahead <clears> of the <throat> governorship election in the state? 21st uh, of March is just around the corner, and the battle for the soul of Osadebe Avenue lies within the political parties, which your party has already produced the candidates. So with all these negative impressions uh, making rounds, do you think it's going to affect your candidate ahead of the governorship election in the state? 
you are the state chairman. Sure. Well, uh, I can tell you that the impact is not sufficient to derail the process of our winning the election mm. in September 2nd. It does not have such a fact. The, what is happening so far, the impact is not there to take us off course. We are, not we are ready. We are ready. Mm. And we are taking the, the election by its jugular and we shall win the election last night. I can assure you this. The, you know, um, in, in the build up to the presidential election, Edo State seems to be the headquarters of the obedient movement. But we don't hear about them anymore. Uh, could it be that there's a disconnection between the obedient no, movement you are not correct. and the Labour Party? No, you are not correct to say you are no longer hearing about obedient. They are there. You don't hear about them again. No, but, but uh, it we don't hear they, about the no, noise. No, no, we no, heard. no, 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 but you are talking of noise making. Okay. Now we have gone strategic. Okay. So we will not be making noise because noise making produces nothing for us. Mm. So what I think you may be looking at is this street walk, is this shouting around, but that is not all that we need to do. Okay. As of today, we need to get back home, check what we have done in the past, review it, make amendments, and take off. No, so as at now, okay. So as at now, the mm. obedience we are on the drawing table. We are working our things. They are with us, and we are working 100%. together. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Both those in diaspora. Of course, yes. Oh, okay. Because we are talking. Okay. If you are talking uh, in the build up to the primary elections, some of them actually came over and uh, they felt uh, the party was actually going for the money backs. We had some who along the line left the party and picked picket, uh, tickets in other political parties. As far as uh, uh, from information we have on ground, one of them or two, they actually they are running on a different platform now instead of the Labour Party. Now, could it be that Labour Party made it difficult for people to get the ticket? Was it true? Well, first of all, how difficult could we have made it to anybody? In fact, we had the, lower, the lowest you know, fee for the funds. 30 million? Yes, the lowest. Is the lowest? Yes. Go and check the history. 30 million euros. Was the lowest in all the major political parties that we had. Hmm. Was the lowest. I'm not saying the others, you know, other political. But if, look if, at if, you, if you say the lowest, we have about, we have 16 political parties on the ballot. Well, the lowest cut across the major three political parties, okay. which is the PDP and APC and the okay. Labour Party so far now. Okay. We have the lowest in that order. Okay. That's the point I'm making. Mm. And so, uh, you know, the administration of a political party is not a chance play. And winning an election as a governor is equally not a chance play. Mm. And so if you come around here and you want us to provide the platform for you to win an election, then you must be serious, first of all, with what you have, you know, the money itself, and of course, other materials that can enable us win election. So, mm. for those who came and simply left and talk about money back, then I, I think they had other things they need to tell us. Not because of the fact uh, of the fact that we were ordinarily in search of money back. That's not the, that's not true. Because the, the, because the, the allegation the, was the, that the party was actually running after those who had money, and those uh, kind of aspirants, <laughs> the aspirants who felt they don't have enough money to get the attention of the party leaders, left the party for other political parties. <laughs> no. Well, they left quite right. That's what I'm saying. That The reason they left is that they lack the ability to compete in the first place. So not the cash. Not the cash itself. Because the candidate, uh, uh, Basaulo Apata, was overwhelming. And it was clear. Not only because he was able to buy his forms. Not because he had 30,000 to buy, uh, 30 million to buy his forms, really. Mm. But his capacity was overwhelming. You can see it everywhere. He had the ability to administer a people. He was reaching out. It was not because it's not, it's not money itself, first of all. Mm. How many of them were able to reach to the grassroots, discuss with the people, let them understand what they need to do for this uh, state if they win election? So mm. it's not money itself. They knew that they had it, the capacity to compete with somebody like Olumide Akwata. And that was why they left to get, get it by cheap force anywhere they are today. Okay, so they went for less. That's what you just said. Okay, but however, can we now, let's look at it critically. Uh, in the build up to the election again, there, have been, there was clamor for power shift to Edo Central. And of course, many persons thought the Labour Party was actually going towards that direction. 
because some aspirants they actually felt some aspirants that are from that axis felt uh, betrayed by the party in a way because they felt the, the uh, ticket wasn't zoned to their to their senatorial district. Uh, we, we would like you to help us shed more light on this now. Well, it could again, be that the party don't believe in power. Well, right? again, we we need to remove that word betrayer because it would have been betrayer if at any point there was an agreement between this group and Labour Party to say, oh, you will have it, and we didn't give but it. There so, was no so there was no arrangement whatsoever mm. where it was expressly said to anybody from Edo Central that, oh, you will definitely have a ticket to run. Mm. It was so, it's not a matter of betrayer. But let us ask ourselves, Labour Party hadn't produced any governor or or participated in any gubernatorial election mm. in the histories of political parties in a two state. And therefore, the issue of TT towards a particular zone does not arise. Mm. So for us, we thought that we leave it fluid and anyone gets a ticket from whatever zone that becomes our candidate. So it's not because we do not believe in, in, uh, in giving consideration to some zones. No, that's not the case. But our take was that we do not have commitment to thinking that it should particularly come from one zone or the other, mm. arising from our hist for the history of our participation mm. in political dispensation in a two state. Okay. If we have produced the governor in the past mm. in any location, we may then be thinking that, okay, since it was in a don't know we had governor four years ago, uh, we must now think of taking it to another area of it in order to balance it. But we haven't had that. So we're left with the option of taking from wherever we want to take from, to start from that point. So I'm sure that by the next disposition, we may now be thinking, all right, we had it here four years ago mm. or eight years ago. We, now, we may now have to say, okay, let's look at this end. I think that's what's going on. Okay, uh, yeah, we, we, we'll let you go in a moment, but I would like you to quickly react to this. Some stakeholders in the party, they are, they are afraid, and this is their fear. Uh, they felt some people who actually ran on the platform of the party and got to the federal level. Like you have a senator, you have uh, some House of Rep members, and you have somebody at the State House of Assembly. They are supposed to be opposition, but some of the stakeholders are saying that these persons who actually got the ticket of the party and they are already uh, representing their various constituencies, they are lost in the crowd. 2027 election is coming again. What is the fate of these persons? Can they still return back and have the guts to run on Labour Party and still retain their offices? Well, at the level we are, we are we're looking at our members who are in the National Assembly, and um, there's nothing to show that they are not correctly satisfied the party to us. They are satisfied the approach. party. They, um, your question mm. that. Oh, well, they are lost in the midst and all of that, yes. isn't it? Yes. So for us as a party, mm. we, we have not gotten it to the extent to think that they are not regular with us. Okay. And so are they, they are doing what they should be doing, what, do, what, what they should do as at the moment. And uh, we hope to continue to monitor the process. And at any point, we found that they are off guard. Yeah, we'll call them to order as far as we are concerned. So 2027 is a bit... Uh, far from here, mm. and uh, nothing can be in the moment to decide whether they can come back or they will not come back. For an average, for an average Nigerian politician, 2027 is like tomorrow, mm. and you think these um, stakeholders who feel these persons are not representing their interests will still give them their 100% support the way they did uh, in the national election we had. Well, the, 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 well, well what happens now is not what happens tomorrow. Mm. So it, the compensations can be made. If anyone fails, as at the moment, they are not optimally getting the attention of this person. Mm. Yes, we are now hearing that, oh, there's a problem here and there, and this can be made up for. And then at the end of the day, before 2027, we would have been doing well with our people. But I don't think any of our member is of that opinion at this moment. So are, are we seeing any end in sight between the between NLC and Labour Party any moment from now? Because well, my take, yes. is that, my take is that NLC and Labour Party are partners here. Mm. If there are disagreements or things that are not uh, well laid out, mm. it's expected that we come to our house and look at okay. them. It's not matter of press. Okay. It's not um, matter of press release. Mm. And then we discuss. Comrade Kelly, I'm afraid uh, we've actually exhausted our time. It's a pleasure Thank you very to much. see That's you one-on-one on one again. Thank you. All right, we wish Labour Party all the best uh, in their future endeavor. This is how far we can go right now.